Hi, BJ Posnecki. Today we're going to go over the electrical panel and some of the different circuit breakers within the panel. So I'm going to kind of zoom up here a little bit. All right. And these breakers here are just your standard regular circuit breaker. You know, if one should trip, just simply push to the off position and then back on to reset. Different municipalities will have different code requirements. So where we happen to be uh, shooting in the west suburbs of Chicago, uh, this particular municipality uh, requires arc fault circuit breakers in certain room locations. So if one of these arc fault breakers are similar to a GFI, if they sense a smaller change in current, they trip easier than a regular circuit breaker for added protection. Well, when these trip, it's different, you know, when you can hit, there's a test button on here. When you hit that test button, okay, and you go to reset it, pushing it to the off position, then back on, they reset very easily. However, when they trip because they sense a spark and they're doing their job, they have a, they go into like a safety lock position. So you really have to push them hard to the off position and then back on. I mean, almost to the point where you're almost going to pop the breaker out of the, uh, the cover panel here. So some others, uh, some other breakers, uh, a little bit different variation, but similar concept are these, uh, square D test breakers, you know, same thing. Um, you know, they have a test button, um, you know, when the when breakers trip, they may not always shift or jump over to the middle or or the off position. A lot of times they'll look uh, or stay in, in in what would look to be the on position. So always, you know, give them a good push to the off position. Okay, really make sure you get in there and give it some elbow grease, and then turn them back on. If you like this video, subscribe and like it. Thank you.